Hi, it's Nick here with another edition of If I Can Do It, You Can Do It Too. Today, we paint the body on the 33 Hot Rod RC Car by Traxxas. So what we'll be using to paint the body on the 33 Hot Rod is this Taimaya uh, polycarbonate body paint. So it's it's made for the product. It won't. Uh, it's flexible. It won't crack, etc. The problem with it is, is this has got it's dangerous. And uh, it says right here in the instructions, use a well ventilated area. So I haven't got a well ventilated area. So what you have to do. Is create your own little spray booth so what we did here on the table is cover everything in paper and build some boxes and put in our own downdraft system with a vacuum cleaner of course we filtered the out with uh, some blue cloth we filtered the out port and then ran it into the booth here filtered the in so we'll try and reduce the amount of overspray. It shouldn't be too much because you're making thin coats here. So let's talk a minute about this uh, Traxxas body that comes. Again, it's uh, Traxxas part number 9333. And uh, it's a pretty comprehensive kit. Um, what makes it nice is, of course, just like every other body, it's covered in a dull plastic outer overspray uh, cover, which you peel off after it's painted because, of course, you paint these cars from the inside not the outside. It has the protective outer layer, but the nice thing is, is that I don't need any of these tools, you know, to cut and poke and because all the holes are all pre-drilled, you know, all the holes for the body mounts, everything is pre-drilled already. And the uh, body lines, the wheel well openings, the entire body is already cut out of the shell. And normally they come, um, they come uncut. You just see a line and you have to use scissors to cut around it and make sure that the wheel openings are right. So in that regard, it's very good. What I don't like comes with a decal kit. The problem is, is when I look at the body that came in the original car, these decals are applied on the outside of the body. And normally what you do is you get masks that you uh, tape off on the inside of the windows and things. So what I'm trying to fit, and then you use something like a, a smoke gray to tint the glass, you paint the, the glass. So what you, uh, what I'm thinking about doing is that instead of using these decals on the outside of the body, I might just try and use them as masks on the inside of the body so that I can smoke the glass as opposed to having a toyish looking, you know, where the glass is a sticker. And that's just not right. So that's what we're gonna do. I think that's the way I'm gonna approach it and I hope that it works. Just get out the dawn and soap her up. So we've rinsed her out once, but then, uh, you know, it's controversial, of course, but uh, they say you should scuff up the paint, the body before you paint it, but you do have to avoid the windows. So what we're gonna do is uh, just scuff it up with one of these little uh, soapy scuff pads here and um, then we'll wash it again and dry it one more time. This is the noise of the All right, so the body is all, uh, all washed. And you can see that I've chosen now to go with some masking tape. Uh, these I tried, I tried to use them as masks, but they're far too sticky. And I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to peel them off without damaging the paint. All right, so I changed my mind. The masking tape program wasn't working, so I did stick the, uh, the outside stickers on the inside so that we could use them as masks to paint. First thing you gotta do is shake the paint. Here we go, first coat, light coat. Gotta make them light coats. Okay. 
Okay, that's the first light coat. Now we'll let it dry, suck the over spray out. We'll do that three or four, or maybe five more times. I don't know. The little downdraft booth is working good. You can see the overspray that it's sucking in. Get ready for the second coat. Light coat. your results the coverage is to hold the body up hold the body up to a light and uh, you see if there's any blank spots As we hold it up to the light, eh, a few spots, still in the center of the roof, the hood, the trunk, but the fenders are starting to be white all the way through. So that's got it. Five coats of white and uh, you shine a light through it and there's no more uh, white spots. And it's fairly even here, I'll show you. So when you're looking through light, it's fairly even and there's no bright white spots coming through. Now it looks dull. Of course it's dull. Don't forget, on the outside of this car, there's a clear plastic wrap which has to be peeled off. And that's what gives the paint the shine. It's not the paint. So now it's time to back to back the car. Because this white is, is see-through, sort of. And uh, what you want to do is you want to back it. Now, most colors, you could back it with black. But in this case, because it's white, I'm going to back it in silver first, and then back it in black. And then peel off the little masks, and then smoke the windows. Because when you're looking at the car, when it's mounted, the body's mounted, you don't want to see white in the inner fenders. You want to see it all black. It gives it a more realistic look. So we backed it in silver, and then we backed it in white. Now we're going to back it in black, and it should be perfectly painted when we're all said and done. On my car, the grill is black. So this chrome one I scuffed down with that same soapy scrub pad and rubbed most of the chrome off and now I'm going to just shoot it with some black. Same with it. So now it's back in black and look at the stuff that is sucked in. This is the grill. Give you another coat on this. So if you paint it, now you see on the outside that doesn't look good, right? No, that's overspray. And so when I peel off the outer plastic, all of that will be gone. But you can see now, it's uh, backed with black. The grill is painted black. And uh, so what we have to do now is peel off the decals on the inside on those windows, those masks. That's what we're about to attempt. With a pair of tweezers. A very sharp exacto knife. So the windows are uh, cleared and now we'll just smoke them. We'll tint them with the smoke spray. Also the glass is smoked and uh, it's all ready. All that needs to have happen is um, take the plastic coating off. Here we go. Oh, it 
didn't look like much before, but take a look at the shine now. And you got tinted windows all the way around, and the body is just shiny white. That's the outside, that's with the plastic protective wrap off. So uh, mission accomplished. All that's left to do now is let this thing dry and then, you know, put all the lights and things on and then. So we'll just let that dry overnight now. Except I've got a bit of a mess to clean up. <laughs> spray box, it did its job. There's no overspray anywhere out here. Um, curious about one thing. I'll pull my filter off here and see how much actually went through the vacuum cleaner. And then got to the post filter. So either it all got caught up inside the machine or it, uh, the pre filter stopped it off, which is amazing. The pre filter has every color on it. So the inside of the pre filter is clean, but the, I think this is inside out now. But look, it stopped it all. Amazing. That was ingenious, really ingenious. But I need to find a way to put these side vents in, and I think I've come up with a solution. But you'll have to find out how I did it on the next episode of If I Can Do It, You Can Do It.